I have many students here, in fact, over 750 students, and most of them have free and reduced lunch. And I can think of one gal, one young lady, she's um, third grade, who at the beginning of the year um, has asked me for food uh, in the middle of the day. She has a little sister, and uh, we do give out food bags once a week, uh, one food bag each, but she had asked for numerous bags for enough for the family for the weekend. And she would go home with um, a couple bags every day for five days. And then after that, um, unfortunately, her mom passed away, and she lives with uh, grandma, and uh, her and her sister got separated. Now her sister lives uh, with her father. But she comes in a lot and asks me for things like, because um, we have uniforms here and she doesn't have the right uniforms because when mom passed things got lost and that you know now she lives with grandma and so she asked me for things like I'm embarrassed to go to class because I don't have the uniform pants or a shirt and in fact she calls me her her school mom you know so um, you know I, I, I say oh I don't give you those things but I'll get volunteers or you know people donate things and um, they, I was able to get her some uniforms and some hair clips because she didn't have anything for her hair and sneakers. And then of course she needed another backpack and school supplies. And so every day, you know, I see her and she's doing much better now, um, but she still, you know, sometimes goes to aunt house, to uncle's house, to grandma's house and, and things get lost. And um, you know, to make her feel comfortable here at school, we, we have set up uh, some, you know, school supplies and a backpack and some um, uniforms so that up in the clinic so that she's able to change in case she comes in without a uniform. And then she feels more comfortable coming to class because honestly, she, she wouldn't go to class because she was embarrassed. She felt like people were talking about her because she didn't have this or that or um, the right clothes. And you know, m numerous times, um, unfortunately, I don't even know where she was sleeping when she was with mom before mom passed because she would come into class and fall asleep for um, two, three hours mm. in the student support room. So things are looking up for her, but you know, with, without um, donations, and I'm not even sure uh, if she she was not able she does need to go to a doctor but she didn't even get to the doctor yet i don't know if that will even happen before school ends and i know she hasn't been to a dentist or um you know even free time things i'm not even sure what she does there because you know she would she's so good at gymnastics that if she was in something a program like that after school which we um tried to get her in but because of transportation she couldn't get into there so there's so much need for that's just one story but you know we have so many students um, that have situations like that that we try to help on a daily basis so thank you for having the day of hope for us